This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the nitration of benzene. Benzene reacts with a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid to form nitrobenzene. So here we can see the reaction between benzene and the concentrated nitric and sulfuric acids to form nitrobenzene and water. In the reaction, the concentrated sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst. The reaction is carried out at a temperature of 50 degrees C. The electrophile in the reaction is the nitronium ion. So next we look in more detail at the nitrating mixture and the formation of the nitronium ion. The nitrating mixture is a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. In the first reaction, the sulfuric acid, which is the stronger acid of the two, protonates the nitric acid. In the second reaction, the protonated nitric acid loses a water molecule to form the nitronium ion. Here we can see the Lewis structure of the nitronium ion. Note that the positive charge is located on the nitrogen atom. These two reactions are usually written as one equation, which we can see here. Next, we'll look at the mechanism of the reaction in more detail. The electrophile, which is the nitronium ion, is attracted to the delocalized pi electrons in the benzene molecule. This curly arrow shows a movement of a pair of electrons from the benzene molecule to the nitrogen atom of the nitronium ion. As we'll see next, this pair of electrons is used to form a bond with the electrophile. So as just mentioned, a bond is formed between a carbon atom and the electrophile, producing a carbocation intermediate. So here we can see that a bond has formed between a carbon atom in the benzene molecule and the nitrogen atom of the nitronium ion. The formation of this bond produces a carbocation intermediate. The delocalized pi system that gives benzene its stability has been disrupted. This is shown by the breaking of the ring, which we can see here. Next, the carbon to hydrogen bond breaks and leads to the reforming of the benzene ring. Here we have a curly arrow which shows a movement of a pair of electrons from the carbon to hydrogen bond back to the benzene molecule. These electrons are used to reform the delocalized pi system in the benzene molecule. So on the right we have the product of the reaction which is nitrobenzene. We also have a hydrogen ion. The hydrogen ion then reacts with the hydrogen sulfate ion to reform the sulfuric acid catalyst. Next, we'll look at the importance of temperature in the reaction. So at higher temperatures, the products will have greater substitution. For example, at 50 degrees, the product will be nitrobenzene. At 65 degrees, we have a di-substituted product, which is 1,3-dinitrobenzene. And at 110 degrees C, we have the tri-substituted product, which is 1,3,5-trinitrobenzene. Therefore, to obtain nitrobenzene, the reaction is carried out at a temperature of 50 degrees C. So let's end the video with a summary. The nitration of benzene involves the reaction of benzene with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. The mixture of these two concentrated acids is known as a nitrating mixture. And here we can see the overall equation for the nitrating mixture. The electrophile in the reaction is the nitronium ion. The concentrated sulfuric acid acts as the catalyst in the reaction, and the reaction is carried out at a temperature of 50 degrees. The products of the reaction are nitrobenzene and water, and here we have the overall equation for the reaction.